I wanted to do a quick video. Um, I know that I know that this channel has a lot of Ender Three content, and I think it would be more accurate to say at this point that um, I want to focus on the open source sort of uh, side to this this printer that's come along with the start of the Ender Three, and this is the GTEC A10. I don't have one, but I really want one. Um, the, um, now all of the, it has all of the same problems that the Ender 3 has. It has all of the good things. It's inexpensive. It still has the Bowden tube. Um, it'll still have, it'll still have the under extrusion problem whenever you mess up and the Bowden tube is slipping out. Um, I don't know the quality of their connectors. I don't know the quality of their Bowden tubes. It's probably the cheapest thing because they're selling it for $180 on eBay. Um, and it has blue in the little slots, which like, okay, whatever. Um, however, it has some extra stuff that really surprises me. Um, the biggest thing that makes me want it instead of the Ender 3 is the board. Uh, this is the GT2560, and it has, let's see, a uh, 12-volt output, which is something that uh, is a problem that a lot of people have been wanting in the Ender 3, and they have to use, um, they have to use uh, um, the buck, what are the buck converters, these little guys, got to use these to be able to to do 12 volts or whatever you want well this has it um it uh now one thing that i am confused about is that there are two different models and this is something that i want to know about because there is let's see there's the one that has the bl touch where is it i saw the saw the photos of it earlier let's see plus symbol that's only four it was the a plus or something like that okay now that I'm making a video about this I am not finding it but um, it apparently has a spot for the BL touch and besides that it looks like it has a couple of extra spots where you could use it well because there's there's a pro this the board has apparently been out for a while yeah um so right now it's currently only available on eBay um I didn't notice that twenty dollars shipping earlier but uh, yeah one eighty brings you right up to an even two hundred pretty much the same price as the Ender three I'm sure this is gonna go on sale at some point um it's not currently available on Amazon which makes me a little bit sad. Anyway, this is just something that I'm really interested in because um mainly because of the board. Um I've I it's it's too much like I can't hardly have um a filament run out switch and BL touch. It's one or the other on the Ender 3 on the board. And the only way out of that is upgrading the board. Well, this you're paying the same price, but you're you're getting a yeah, you're getting something that can do so much more um, while still, uh, <laughs> look, they have a dog. Uh, um, they can do so much more while also being upgradable, changing stepper drivers. Um, apparently there's a fuse on the, uh, the, uh, the USB port and it's a full-size USB port, which is unique. Um, Molex power connectors? Yeah. Um, so it... Uh, it's looking nifty, uh, like something that something that will honestly be my second printer that I would really like to be my second printer. But uh, yeah, that all about wrap it up. That's all that. Uh, just I don't know. I I think that I think that more people need to be aware about this printer, as opposed to the Ender. Uh, <laughs> but look, it'll have the same issues. Oh, uh, that is so wrong. Only do this if you're in the United States or someplace where we use that. Don't don't do that if you're in Europe. Please don't do that if you're in Europe.